Oh, no way. No way. First cast. No way, bro. First cast. <laughs> What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Monster Bash channel. My name is Jeremy with Fishing on Lone Star and I'm out here with my brother, Lance, and we're out on the kayaks today. I'm in my inflatable kaboat. He's in a native kayak and we are doing a little 1v1 mono imano Monster Bash challenge. So what we've done though is we've taken baits from 2020, just random baits that came in all the Monster Bass boxes, threw them into one box, kind of like a, a, a super a super challenge box i don't know what we're going to call it but that's what we're that's what we're doing basically is we're using a box of lures that i've hand selected thrown into the box half soft plastic half hard baits and that's what we're rolling with for this challenge so let me show you real quick what's in the box and then we're going to get to fishing and i'll tell you the point system let's uh, let's see what's in the box so we've devised a box and both of our boxes are the same with the exception of maybe a couple different colors but first we have the excite baits square bill awesome color there little bluegill color the slick stick 110 by monster bass that awesome jerk bait the yum dinger the big bite baits finesse swimmer those standout hooks we will use on the finesse slammer that 3.25 inch egg zone slammer and it is an incredible drop shot bait next we have the rage tail now this is a custom pack that i've taken and mixed in two colors so lance is using this one i'm going to use the plum color we got some rage crawls that we'll use and then last that came in this month's box in january is the strike king red eye shad you've already seen me catch a, a fish with that last month on my channel if you haven't go check it out fishing lone star but the red eye shad we each have one of those as well. So here's what we're gonna do. We are going to do a 1v1 challenge for two hours. You take your number of fish, you multiply it very simply by the number of baits you used or lures you used to catch those fish. So if you catch four fish on four different lures, four times four, 16 points. Yeah, 16 points. Make sure my math was right. Yeah, you're pretty good. <laughs> All right, so that's what we're gonna do, plain and simple. Uh, do you wanna do a kicker for biggest fish? Biggest, biggest fish gets an extra five points. How about that? That works. All right, cool. Do you have a skill? Uh, no, but I can call you. All right, I got a skill. Number of fish times number of lures used. Big fish kicker of five points. Two hours, let's roll. I'm gonna start with the big bite baits, that Tennessee shed color, paddle toe swim bait. So that's what we're gonna go with first. And uh, it is cold out here today, guys. Like we're in the middle of January. Slight breeze, but uh, probably about 40 degree, 45 degrees. Oh, no way. No way, first cast. No way, bro, first cast. <laughs> ah, first cast. <laughs> I was about to say the water temps are about 45 degrees, and this is not a bad one. <laughs> I can't make that up. I cannot make that up. First cast. Probably about a two pounder. I'm gonna say that big fish has to be at least over three pounds. I don't know. Let's let this one go though. All right, let's try that again. What I was trying to tell you a second ago though is it's probably 40, 45 degree waters and a slight breeze. So it's definitely that winter bite. So you can tell I'm real. I'm I'm, I'm reeling very slow and attempting to bring that bait across the bottom because I can't imagine these fish are really that active. All right, Lance is starting with the swim bait as well, so. All right, caught one on the swim bait. I'm gonna switch over now to the red eye shad, that Strike King red eye shad. And I'm gonna throw this on my glass rod by TFO, the tactical glass bass rod. New rod, new lure. Let's hope we can catch some fish. There's one. There's one on the red eye shed. He ate it head first. A little two pounder, but a good fish. Let's go a little bit further out and see if we can get more Right 
I just have popped it. I don't know if you guys saw that, but I popped it, paused it, yo-yoed it real quick, and uh, that little guy came and ate it. Little guy. It's fish number three, though. Two lures. Just for the sake of numbers, we're gonna keep this on really quick. Red Eye Shad, I'll tell you, it is working. Love that lure in the new January box. Oh, Lance just hooked into a good one. Oh, it came off. Yeah, and it's a good one. Maybe not really good, but he's good. And he ate that thing head first. That's awesome. Yeah. It's a pretty good one. Just the way he was swimming, I thought he was a lot bigger. All right, that's four fish. Two lures. If I got to keep using this, like, I don't know. It's hard to put down a lure that's working so well, but I need to get to the rest of the box, too. Oh, yeah, there's one. Another decent fish. Yep. I'll stay out of the grass. He is active, man. Barely got him on his lip. He's got those good little marks on him. Decent fish, number five. I'm gonna put this down and uh, maybe go to another moving bait because right now they're eating the moving baits, but that red eye shad was just killing it. All right, I'm gonna tie on this ex Excite Baits, the XB1 square bill, it's kind of a bluegill color. I know there's bluegill out here, probably not, you know, really active bluegill bite right now in the winter, uh, but I'm gonna throw on this uh, square bill and see if I can't catch one on it. Oh, Lance is on with the red eye shed. The pretty good one? All right, he said it's about a two, two and a half pounder. Just saw some bass schooling right over here. Let's see if they'll eat this crank. Oh, got him. <laughs> he did eat it. I paused it and he ate it on the pause. Not a bad fish either. Get in here. Get in here. Yeah. Right, look at that, guys. Right there. Got him. All right, that is six fish. That worked out too great. I saw him schooling. Came right over here and got him. That is six fish. Three lures. I don't know what Lance is at, but that's awesome. Not a big fish, but a fish. All right, I got that Slick Stick 110 tied on. Great little lure, kind of cracked white color. That red eye and that front red treble hook. Twitch, twitch, pause. Let's see if we can catch one. All right, the moving bite has somewhat died off so I'm going to throw this Bama Bug Color Rage Crawl. See if I can not only use another lure but also knock off the big fish. I want to get the big fish as well. Did you get that one on? Lance on the bluegill swim bait. How many is that for you? Uh, number five. On two lures. Five on two and I've got six on three. The moving baits is, is uh, what's doing the job. 
They are liking moving baits. I'm throwing a Texas rig crawl. I've not gotten any bites yet. I'm gonna give it a couple more casts and then I, uh, I got I gotta make sure that he doesn't beat me. <laughs> All right, we are uh, what 30 minutes left. Sure. Let's do it. So Lance has caught three now on three separate casts. He's got number six on two lures. All right, so both have six fish. I just have used one extra lure. So the way this contest works though is I've caught six on three, so that's 18 points. He's caught six on two, so that's 12 points. So I need more fish. He needs to use another lure, but he could easily take the lead if he catches one more fish on a different lure. Five minutes. So I need one more fish just to make sure he catches another one that we tie. Two more, I feel like will seal it for me. There's a bite, there's a bite now. Got him that top. Got him that top. All right, right there on that paddle tail swim bait. We're five minutes left, little guy, but that gives me seven on three. Let's get one more now and seal it. If Lance catches a three pounder or, or bigger in the next five minutes, he'll actually seal it because you get bonus points for catching a big fish. God, this is coming down on the wire, guys. Oh, that's it. Oh, there's a bite right at the buzzer. That one won't. I don't know if I should count that or not. That's a good fish. <laughs> it happened right at the buzzard. <laughs> All right, comment below, guys, if I should count that or not. That's right, <laughs> right at the, right at the time. Oh, that's awesome. That's a, that's a that's a good one. That's a pretty good fish. Probably two and a half pounds. I'm not gonna count it though, because technically the buzzard had gone off before I set the hook, but. That's a good fish right there. All right, Lance, you ended with six fish. Yes, sir. Two lures, six times two is 12. I'm not gonna count the fish at the very end. That would have given me eight, so I ended with seven, but I used three lures. I used the Excite Square Bill, the Red Eye Shad, and the Finesse Swimmer by Big Bite Baits, and you caught yours on the Red Eye Shad as well. Red Eye Shad. Yep. And then also Big White Baits Finesse Swimmer, but different color. Same color Red Eye Shad. That green, uh, green, I almost said Glizzard. That Red Eye Shad, that green Gizzard that came in the January box was killer. They were chasing moving baits today. You know, this is about a 10 or 15 acre lake, and granted, it is a private lake. There's no doubt there's some good fish in here. It's still tough. I mean, we're still talking 45 degree water temps. It was in the 30s this morning when we started. They wanted only moving baits. They did not want any type of Texas rig, crawls, drop shots, sinkos, nothing. Uh, so they just weren't having it. So we, uh, we adjusted, we adapted, we overcame, and we had a good time. Lance, this was fun. It was fun. And if you have not subscribed to Monster Bass, make sure you do that because 2021 is going to be packed with some phenomenal lures. So make sure you're subscribed to The Better Box. I'll give you one last quick tip or quick little insight. I actually caught a pretty good fish on my way back over here uh, to meet Lance before filming this outro. So I'm going to, it's actually the biggest fish of the day. I'm going to post that and several other catches over on my channel, Fishing Lone Star. So make sure you go check out that as well. It'll be linked below. Check out Monster Bass, The Better Box.